First at five, the Target 12 investigators going inside the mafia. The man federal prosecutors say once ran the New England mob is under arrest tonight. It was breaking news at noon. Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi went before a federal judge in Boston just a short time ago on murder charges. And we've learned it's connected to a body found in Providence earlier this year. Target 12 investigator Tim White was tweeting from court all afternoon. He joins us live in Boston with the very latest. At 82 years old, Salemi walked slowly into federal court here in Boston. He was sort of hunched over and he told a judge he had trouble standing up when he had to address the court. But for now, the former New England mob boss will remain in custody. A dig for human remains in Providence earlier this year has led to charges against former New England mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi, seen here in file video. Salemi is now accused of taking part in the 1993 murder of Stephen DeSaro, a Boston nightclub manager whose body was exhumed from behind a Branch Avenue mill building in March. DeSaro's son, Michael, was in court. His attorney called this an emotional day for the family. For 23 years, the DeSaro family has had more questions than answers. Uh, so they're hoping now, at some point, they will have their questions answered and eventually justice for Stephen. So Lemmy's lawyer, Stephen Buzang, says his client is innocent. Mrs. Lemmy is prepared to go to trial. He's healthy. And uh, we'll see how it shakes out in the end. Court documents show Salemi was living under the name Richard Parker in Atlanta, Georgia. Prosecutors say he was on the run from these pending charges and arrested in Connecticut Wednesday morning. In a somewhat humorous moment when Salemi walked into the courtroom, he looked over at veteran prosecutor Fred Wyshack and he said, hey, Fred, fancy seeing you here outside of court. Wyshack called that mob humor. New at 6 o'clock, what Salemi's attorney says his client was doing in Connecticut when he was arrested. For now, live in Boston with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators taking you inside the mafia tonight. A former mob boss is being held without bail right now after being charged with murder. We told you live at 5, 82-year-old Frank Cadillac Frank Salemi appeared in court today, charged with taking part in the 1993 murder of Stephen DeSaro. New at 6, what Salemi's attorney says his client was doing in Connecticut when the former mob boss was arrested. Target 12 investigator Tim White's live in Boston with more details for us. When Salemi walked into the federal courtroom here in Boston, he looked over at veteran mob prosecutor Fred Wyshack and said, hey Fred, fancy meeting you here. But the charge that Salemi is facing is no laughing matter and comes with the potential of the death penalty. After a week of digging behind a Providence Mill building in March, FBI investigators exhumed the remains of Stephen DeSaro, a Boston nightclub manager who was murdered in 1993. Now that they have a body, prosecutors are charging former New England mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi, seen here in file video, with murder. DeSaro's son Michael was in court. His attorney spoke for the family. For 23 years, the DeSaro family has had more questions than answers. Uh, so they're hoping now at some point, they will have their questions answered and eventually justice for Stephen. Mr. Salemi denies these charges, always has, always will. Stephen Buzang is Salemi's attorney. Mrs. Salemi is prepared to go to trial. He's healthy, and uh, we'll see how it shakes out in the end. Providence mobster Robert Bobby DeLuca, seen here in exclusive Target 12 video, has already been charged in this case. He's accused of lying to prosecutors about what he knew. Today's an emotional day. The 82-year-old Salemi had been in the witness protection program. It's unclear if he was when he was arrested. Court documents show Salemi was living under the name Richard Parker in Atlanta, Georgia. Prosecutors say he was on the run from these pending charges and arrested in Connecticut Wednesday morning. Boozang denies his client was on the lam. He's on his way back. Well, I think Atlanta to Connecticut is a lot closer to Boston than California, isn't it? He was coming back to face charges, Steve. Is that what you're saying? He was coming back to answer any charges that may have been coming forth. Salemi is being held without bail. Now for his comment when he walked into the courtroom, prosecutor Fred Wyshack called it mob humor. Mike Shannon. Tim, you mentioned that this crime comes with the potential of the death penalty. So if Salemi is found guilty, how likely is it he'll receive that sentence? 
It's unlikely, Shannon, that he will actually be sentenced to the death penalty. And it's not because the U.S. Attorney's Office here in Boston hasn't pursued those cases in the past. As you know, the Boston Marathon case, they are pursuing capital punishment. But in a press release, they said that it, it usually is a lesser sentence with cases like this. Keep in mind that the uh, life behind bars is also a sentence that is on the table. But at 82 years old, any sentence that Salemi gets, if he is found guilty, would be a significant one. Mike, Shannon.